With the stitch regulation, we're going to set our stitches per inch. So at the moment, this is on 10 stitches per inch. And what I like as a quilter is between say about 10 and 12. Uh, you could go as high as 18, which is very, very small, and I would use that if I was doing tiny micro quilting. You can go as large as four stitches per inch, uh, which you would use maybe for basting or something like that, but that's quite large. So on average, I like around 10 to 12. You know, I'm using a king tut in the top, and I'm using a pre-wound bobbin in the bottom. I've set my tension. I'm really happy with how all of that's going to quilt. So now it's all about the quilting. So how do we use true stitch? How is it that we make it work so that our stitches are truly stitch regulated? Because yes, you can out stitch stitch regulation. And if you're doing that, I have to wonder how accurately you're forming your designs. So um, you can also stitch or move your fabric slower than the cruise speed that you set, which means that you would be putting in a lot of stitches um, and therefore the machine is trying to stitch regulate, but you've set the settings too high for it to be able to do that based on your movement of fabric. And I'm going to explain that to you. So you have what they call precision mode and precision mode means that if I was now to press the play button, which is my ability to use the machine without my foot on the pedal, you can see that it's just gone green here. That means it is ready to stitch, but it's not sewing. The machine is not stitching. That is because it has not detected any movement to make the needle sew. If I press stop, it'll drop the needle in because now it's saying, oh well, you've told me that when you need to stop my needle needs the needle needs to be in the down position that's what that settings for so I'm just going to raise my um, thread from underneath the uh, fabric here and I'll just do a couple of little locking stitches which I like to do with the needle up and down button okay and I'll raise the needle so again I will show you how this works I will press play my foot is not on the pedal. I am not using the foot pedal. I am using the automatic um, stitching button, which is the play button here. And now I'm going to move it. And you can see that it is going to stitch once I move the fabric. When I stop, it stops stitching. Now I'll press the stop button and make it stop. Right, so based on that, my stitching is not fantastic because it's quite jerky. It, I'm not a fan of the precision. I don't know if I would personally use that. I don't see it being of any advantage to me at all. What I don't like about the precision is that as I stop or pause and then want to continue to move, that needle needs to make a full stitch. It's not already moving up and down with some form of cruise speed. Okay, so then it might take an extra large jump at that point. So my advice is to always have some form of cruise speed. So you could cruise as low as 3%. And if I press the play button, the needle will move this fast, but it's always ticking over. So if I move and I start quilting, it's always ticking over. Now the thing about, or stitch regulation, you can hear the machine adjusting speed. Okay, so it goes slower and faster, slower and faster because that is the machine um, being told by the receiver there that the controller is moving at yay speed so you need to hurry up and make the motor work faster to be able to maintain the stitch 10 stitches per inch that the quilter has told me that you need to stitch at and that's how it's working so three percent is probably still a little bit slow for me uh, I'm quite a fast quilter, so my quilting speed, my cruise speed, will be um, higher. Now how does the cruise speed work? Right, 
If you're a fast quilter, you will automatically probably have the, the stitching percentage or the cruise percentage higher. If you're a slow quilter, then you will want the, the cruise speed to be quite low, maybe around five to 10%. The reason being is the machine is being told by True Stitch, by the actual controller, it's sending information back to the receiver because it is reading this surface. And the receiver is then going, okay, well, True Stitch is moving this fast, whatever it may be. The quilter has told me that I need to maintain 10 stitches per inch. So I need to tell the machine to quilt however fast, this fast, because she's moving True Stitch controller at this speed. Okay, so that's how that works. If you're moving very, very slowly, and let me say that I have the cruise speed on 30%, and this is a bit slower than what I would ordinarily quilt on, but let's say it was at 30%, and I'm going to emulate a, a slower quilter. So I'm gonna press, I'm actually just gonna use my foot pedal for now. So as always, I would put my foot flat out on the pedal, but I'm going to move slowly because this is how slow I normally quilt. This is me moving as a slow quilter. Now, there's no way in the world that that is 10 stitches per inch, okay? Because I am moving the fabric uh, outside of the parameters that I have set. For someone that stitches at 30% cruise, they would want to ordinarily be a faster quilter, like this. Okay? Now you can see that my stitches have increased to what I want it to be at 10 stitches per inch. But there's no way in the world that that is 10 stitches per inch because I had set the parameter to go at 30%. Now 30% is um, like that, the needle's doing this. I've told it 30%. So the machine can do nothing but work at that, all right? But true stitch, you know, it can't even come into play because the machine speed that I have set overrides everything because that needle has to work that fast. So if I'm moving that, that fabric too slow for that machine needle, then True Stitch can't even like work. It can't even start to work because I haven't even moved the fabric faster than a 30% cruise speed. Same thing can be said if I had really slow stitching on cruise and then move the fabric flat out. All right, now we've got stitching all over the place because um, I'm actually out stitching um, the, the stitch regulation because I haven't got that needle to go fast enough for my stitching, all right? And as you can see, at quilting at that speed, I'm not really forming points as nicely as I was when I was moving the fabric a little slower. So this is why I question even so if you're outrunning the stitch regulation, how is your design? You know, is your design still really nice? Because I could still quilt, I'm just gonna move true stitch out of the way. I can still quilt nicely, you know, even at 21%. <laughs> even when I do a stipple, How much faster are you going to do a stipple? Okay, so that's working at 21% to get my 10 stitches per inch.